Hey guys, it's Haley here, owner of Haley Bug Art Studio. Today I'm going to show you guys how I created this butterfly peekaboo tumbler. This still needs one more coat of epoxy to be completely finished, but I'm going to show you guys how I got this far. It is so pretty. Look at it. Oh, I love it. I hope you guys love it and I hope you guys can learn something from this tutorial. Let's go. Alright, so I had this tumbler already glittered. I had originally glittered this for a different design, um, but changed my mind and it's been sitting forever and I just was looking at it one day and decided butterflies. Why not? So I'm just going to start putting all of these little vinyl butterflies on here and you can scatter them around. You can do them more uniform, make a pattern, whatever you want to do. I'm just scattering them around, putting them every which way, all over this tumbler. And this is pretty self-explanatory, and I probably could have trimmed this um, because, you know, once you see what I'm doing here, we're just sticking the vinyl on there, it's kind of, you just keep doing that. I have a bad habit of not trimming down my videos. You guys get to watch mostly full scale, huh? Here I am just putting them everywhere. You can use the transfer tape for this since these butterflies are pretty solid. It's not a whole lot of tiny pieces. It's fairly easy just to stick them on by hand. Why waste the transfer tape if you don't have to? I'm cheap. I don't like to, to waste things that I don't got to waste. I used to honestly. I am so cheap sometimes that I used to really hate doing pickaboos. These peekaboo tumblers. Because I would be like, why am I covering my whole cup in glitter? And then I'm going to cover it up. Why would I do that? You know, like I just couldn't, I couldn't process it in my brain. Like I could not figure out why anyone would want to do that. And then now here I am. I think this is my, this is my second YouTube video involving doing a peekaboo style cup. And I have another one in the works. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? It may be next week be another pickaboo. I don't know. Oh, and here we are on this step. Okay. So on my last pickaboo cup, a lot of people were asking how I am able to find the vinyl once I glitter it. Now I forgot, honestly, I forgot to even do this step on my last one. So the struggle was real when I was taking the vinyl off those leaves. This is normally what I do when I remember to actually do the step. I Put a little dab of hot glue where the vinyl is because it'll raise it'll be a little dot so once you spray paint it and glitter it you'll be able to see the dot where the vinyl's at especially if you are using a chunky glitter on the top when you're doing a double glitter peekaboo you really want to do this step because chunkier glitters make it even harder to see the vinyl typically if i'm doing a fine glitter oh, glitter can't even talk guys so typically if I'm doing a fine glitter, I skip this step because you can see the vinyl. So here it is with all my little dabs of glue on there. And now we're gonna spray paint the top part. Oh, I don't know what happened to the rest of that video, but just like last time, while the paint is wet, we're just gonna start pouring that glitter on. I am using Diamond by PDB. It is a beautiful white chunky with some silver in there. I'm putting it over this off-white base so you get this beautiful cream color. It is gorgeous. The shine is unreal. The sparkle is just so elegant. I actually, like, I was really questioning this cup as I was doing it because I know that the original ombre colors were weird. But you see here that you can see the little dots. Makes it so easy. A little dot there, a little dot here. So you just find your little dots. The tool that I'm using to remove my vinyl is I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought a pack of regular little mechanical pencils and a pack of sewing needles and I just stuck the sewing needle in the mechanical pencil instead of lead. So you can just retract the needle and use it to pick the vinyl. Super simple. It is the best tool for weeding vinyl as well. Love it. 
And as you can see here, I am making a huge mess because I forgot to dry brush this glitter after it dried. Typically, I take a dry brush and I just brush off all the loose glitter so that only the glitter behind, left behind is what stuck to the paint or the glue. And I forgot to do that step. So glitter is just sprinkling all over the place. I was covered in glitter by the time I finish this so here it is without the butterflies and after i dry brush the glitter do you see how much better that looks with all the loose glitter brushed off perfection so now we're putting the black outline on the butterflies do not waste your time weeding vinyl don't do it i use water slides do you see how perfect that is how much easier that is you can also use clear sticker paper if you do that, if you prefer that. I love water slides. Water slides are my best buddy. I steered away from them for a little while and I was using clear sticker paper and it just was not, not vibing for me. I have some left and I may, you know, I might use it here and there, but definitely like I bought a pack of water slides the other day and I was like, why did I stop buying you? Why did I start using clear sticker paper? This is so much easier for me. So I just go through and put them all on there and then I take a paper towel and get all the excess water out so that they'll stay, get them all dry. Make sure that whenever you are getting that excess water out that you hold one side of the water slide so that it doesn't move. Because when you go to wiping, it will slide around at first until you get all that water out of it. So you see how I have like one finger holding one end and then I'm wiping and then I'll go through, go back and hold the other side and then wipe that side and get all the excess water out. So you'll see here, this is a little bit easier. You can see how I'm holding it while I wipe. And then I'll hold that side and wipe this side. So that way you can just get all the water out. Once you get the water off and out from underneath, it'll stick pretty well and it won't really move anymore. But while there's still some water there, it will slide. And you just keep doing this little process over and over until you get them all on there. And this is so much fun. Like this is honestly kind of soothing to me. It's like therapy. It's very relaxing, especially just kind of seeing it all come together. Because once you get all these outlines on this whole cup, just it comes together. It brings the whole design together when you get this little black outline on these butterflies. And if anyone needs help with water slides, let me know in the comments and I will make a video on how I do my water slides. Because I do hear a lot of people say that they have issues with it. Um, I love water slides. I have my own little technique like from trial and error because I used to struggle with them as well. And then I just kind of found a method that worked for me. So I will definitely, if you guys want that, I will make um, one of my YouTube videos a tutorial for water slides for sure. And so I ended up moving to my little um, turner because when I was moving it around on my little tumbler stand, it was messing up some of the water slides that were already on the cup. This way on the turner, nothing rubs. It's not touching. The whole cup's not touching anything. So that's what I did here. And then this one is a little sped up. I sped this up because it's pretty, it's kind of like the vinyl, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once me, once you see me put a couple on there, you can kind of see and tell what I'm doing here. It's, it's repetitive. You just keep sticking them on the butterflies, wiping the water out. But you can just really see how it's coming together. Like, like I said before, I was kind of doubting this cup at first. And it was one of those things where it had been sitting forever with that ombre on there. And I was like, those colors don't match anything like the blue, pink and the nude. Like, it's just like, I was like, what am I going to do with this? And I decided just to do this just because I was going to, I wanted to do a YouTube tutorial. I wanted to show you guys how I do my butterfly pickaboos. And so I was like, eh, I'll just use that. It's already glittered. And then here I am like loving it. It ends up turning out so beautiful. So see, sometimes like you should just, just go for it. Even though you think like, eh, I don't know if this is going to work. Still try. What are you going to lose? The worst that happens is the cup turns out still not being that great. And you just strip it and try it. Like start over, put a new design on it. Don't hesitate to try because sometimes the design that you think is not going to look great or like is going to be crappy ends up being perfection. Like you can surprise yourself. 
See, I really should have trimmed this because this is taking forever. I should have done a bigger bowl of water for all these. Here is how she looks. Still needs one more coat of epoxy. You can add a name, a quote, whatever you want to this and she'll be beautiful even as is. Hope you love this tutorial. Love you guys. Bye.